My alarm goes off at a quarter past three. One day a week it's three o'clock, but the other four days it's 3.15. Occasionally I whack that snooze button, but um, I usually spring up. It's a team of experts to make me look the way I do each morning, so I'm an hour in makeup. Um, I just think I'm the same as every other mum. I do my best. Some weeks it works, other weeks not so much. I'm a shift worker, you know, I'm no different than any other woman who works shift work. So by getting up at quarter past three every morning, it means that I can be at school pickup every afternoon. I meet them at the gate at three o'clock and that's really important to me and to my children. The weeks that I nail it and I've got everything in and the food's in the house and all the notes are signed, I think, this is great, I've, I've got this motherhood stuff sorted. And then another week it'll all fall over, which is a nice reality check. You ended up on the cover of one of the weekly magazines a few weeks ago. Yeah. How does that make you feel? There was two photos. One was a nice photo of me at a black tie ball and the other one was a really unattractive one of me walking down the street. And all I can see is the fat photo. I know this is being rose-coloured glasses, but I'd rather people focused on what we do and you know I've got two happy healthy children and a job that fulfills me and hopefully I'm doing something good with it. I think my association with charities is what fulfills me professionally and personally uh, in, in a way that I never expected. I feel so lucky that I can give voice to some organisations that are doing amazing things and unfortunately it takes a public profile to talk about them to make people aware. Um, and I'm, I'm really proud that I can do that. I went last year with World Vision to the Dadaab refugee camps in, in Africa and that was horrendous to see that. And I, I, I hope that with a TV camera, I can come home and show people what other people are living through and what their lives are like.